up everybody it's your boy mike rasheed um yesterday i posted a clip on instagram of me hitting the heavy bag i get a lot of questions from a lot of you guys who ask me to show a routine or give some pointers for boxing um even if your boxing is an amazing sport it's an amazing activity to to do uh even if it's just for cardio if you have no plan on being a competitive boxer or fighter or anything like that so uh what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna show y'all just some beginning stuff and what we'll do is we'll keep this series going and uh, just so you guys can get real proficient because boxing is great cardio, but you don't want to just hop in doing it, going hard or uncoordinated looking stupid. You know what I mean? So because I see it all the time and I'm like, oh, this is painful to watch. But anyway, I'm going to teach you all just the basics, the fundamentals for you advanced guys out there. This is not for you. Uh, this is for people who don't really know um, where to begin. So I'm going to show you guys where to begin. We're starting with the basics. And over time, I'll add some more advanced movements and, you know, go to the mitts and maybe even some sparring for you guys. Just to give you guys some ideas. Um, why I like boxing so much. First of all, I started boxing as a little kid all the way up. I stopped when I was about 24, 25. Um, <clears throat> boxing is a very physical, physically demanding sport, but it's also very mentally demanding. You have to think nonstop when you're fighting. You have to know when you throw a punch. You have to know what comes next, how to counter what can possibly come after that, and et cetera, et cetera. It's kind of like a physical form of chess, but the stakes are higher. The stakes are you can get your teeth knocked out your mouth. You know, um, boxing is not a brutal sport. The more you know it, the more you study it, you'll see the eloquence in it. Um, once again, it keeps you thinking. It keeps you thinking. And when you're thinking uh, and you have to think to stay alive, in a sense, in a fight, um, I don't know, it just keeps you alive, you know? So uh, life is a little more fun, a little more interesting with that danger element. So, and the same with sports. So anyway, I'm gonna just show you guys a little bit of the basics. It'd be uh, short and sweet, but y'all follow with me. Let's do it. So the first punch I wanna show you guys is the jab. The jab, uh, if you are a right-handed fighter or a right-handed person, you will lead with your left, your left jab because the right is gonna be your power punch. And if you're left-handed, you'll lead with your right for your right jab and your left will be a power punch. Now, uh, your footwork is very important, how you place your feet, all right? So you wanna have one foot in front, one foot in back, all right? You want your feet to be, this front foot to be perfectly straightforward. And this back foot, you wanna be at an angle, okay? Now, you also want to be in a nice, solid, sturdy, athletic uh, position. So you don't want to be straight up like this. You want to have a, a slight bend in your knees, okay? Uh, we, we like to call it like soft knees. So uh, you want to be flat footed in the front and in the back, the back foot is going to be on the ball of your foot so you can move around quickly. So you want to have that heel up, okay? And it's also going to help when you're throwing a punch, it's more than just doing this. Uh, the power of your punch all comes from your hips and your legs, all right? So jab, most important punch. It sets things up. It annoys your opponent, and uh, it's the most important punch. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, why is your hand so low? I'm going to tell you why. I fight with my, hand, with my left hand low because I can see a lot better. I'm a def I have pretty good defense. Not everybody has to fight like this. When you fight like this, your, your vision is, is not, uh, you can't see as well. You have no peripheral vision. And also, if you're fighting like this, chances are you're gonna block and take punches like this. I'd rather get out the way of the, out of the shots so that I can counter punch, okay? When you're doing this, you're still absorbing power. It may not be as much as if your hands are down and you're just taking it like this, but if my hands are lower, it gives me a little bit more of a, an advantage to get out of the way. More confident fighters tend to have their hands a little bit lower. I keep my hands low. You could try it low, you could try it high. In certain fights, sometimes you do both. So it's all what you're comfortable with. But in boxing, there's many, many styles of defense. Whatever works for you is what works for you. All right, so um, right hand is typically, typically a little higher because you wanna be able to counter if you need to, all right? My left hand is here and, I mean, my left hand is here. And when you throw that jab, you wanna turn it over, bow, okay, bow. Now, see, right now, I'm too close to the bag or my opponent. 
come back a, a step, all right? So your punch hurts more when it hits the full extension, okay? And also you wanna snap it, all right? So you don't wanna push it. You don't wanna try to throw a hard punch. You wanna do, do it quick, all right? So it's gotta be nice and pop. Now, if y'all looking at my feet, you see that I'm stepping into the punch a little, just a little bit, nice and subtle, okay? Pop, pop, pop. Now, that's the one. One is typically the jab. Jab is the one, all right? Now, the one is a setup shot. Now, is multiple, the one or the jab have multiple functions. To set something up so they don't see the next shot coming, to measure your opponent, and what that means is you, you want to see how far you are. If you can touch him with your jab, or even if you're close, you know you can hit him with that right. It looks like the right is further back, but the right, because you're turning your hips, goes way further than your left, okay? And this is your power shot, all right? So setting him up with the jab. Pop, 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 pop. Then, pop, pop. see that? As you're pulling your jab back, your right need to be automatically coming. You don't want to do this. No, 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 no. So in boxing and in combat sports, it's about timing. You don't have to be the fastest or the strongest, but if your timing is good, you can defeat a faster or stronger opponent. And I'm gonna tell you why. What hurts a fighter is the element of surprise. If I see a shot coming, even if the guy is strong, I can either get out the way of it or tense up and absorb it. If I don't see a shot, your brain kind of shuts down sometimes. So one, two is the basics, it's classic. You can knock people out like that, you can hurt people, it looks good when, when you land them. And even if you miss the one, that two is gonna most likely hit, all right? So I'm gonna do a few one twos. You set it up with a jab. See that? So you want it to be lightning fast. As soon as you pull him back, pop. He don't have time to get out the way of it. And if you touch him with his jab, that right got him. All right? So once again, set him up. You even double up on the jab. Triple up. So what I just did was a series of one twos, one one twos, one twos, one one two. So that's something that y'all can work on. I'm gonna give y'all one more punch today. We're not gonna do everything in one day, okay? okay? I wanna build you guys up the right way. So two is a power shot. You wanna have an arsenal of power shots in, uh, in your cache of, of weapons. So the next power shot, that comes naturally after a two is a three. Happens to be my favorite punch. A three is a left hook. So how you throw a left hook? It's all body, it's not arm. This is the arm punch. Okay, now, an arm punch doesn't hurt. If you need to score a point, you mixing it up, you just hot. Okay, whatever, but it ain't gonna hurt nobody. This is how you really throw a left hook. You slightly step in, boom, bend down on his leg, because this is where your power is going to come from, from your legs. You cock it, your left hand, you come all the way over. A left hook is one of those shots. I can be quadruple the distance away from this bag and still hit you with the left hook. I'm going to show you. I'm at least, I don't know, I'm probably about five, six feet away from the bag but I can hit that bag with the left hook. Left hook is my bread and butter. I put a lot of people to sleep with the left hook. Even if you don't knock somebody out with the left hook, if you land it right, it's gonna either knock them down or move them way out the way, all right? And it, look, it humiliates them. All right, so you see how far I'm away from the bag. If I just wanna go in for the kill, I'm gonna step in and just come over with the left hook. Do that one more time. I'm going to get back it a little further. 
see that? All right. All right, so now I'm gonna come back in in striking range. All right. To demonstrate the left hook. It's gonna be a lot harder in here, all right? So, well, slight step. You protect yourself because you have a, a slight blind spot right here. So, whop, it's cocked and ready. It's all hips. I'm not turning my arm over much at all. I'm just cocking it. Cock, cock, cock. So, this left foot, this lead foot, slight step into it, slight turn. You're getting a lot of pivot on that back foot, okay? And I'm not even throwing it hard. So I'm gonna try to work on that. Now, the combination for today is gonna be one, 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 one. So that's five ones. So the, the, the first series of ones is setting up the shots. Now look at your opponent. You don't wanna do the same thing every time. Throw it from different angles. And after that five, one, two. Do that five times. Now, to complete this combination, you want to throw the, the three. So one, five times, one, two, five times, then one, two, three, five times, okay? There you have it. All right, so y'all remember that. Practice that. If you don't have a heavy bag, the best place to practice is in the mirror. Shadow boxing. Shadow boxing is just as important as hitting the heavy bag, as hitting pads, and as sparring. You gotta visualize yourself doing it the right way. And it's all muscle memory, it's all getting used to it, okay? And you do that by shadow boxing. In shadow boxing, you get a good amount of cardio. All right, so spend about 20, 30 minutes a day in the mirror shadow boxing. All right? So, that's lesson one. Yeah, I remember that. And I'll be back for lesson two. We're gonna add some more to the arsenal. Much love.